to MLB The Show in this presentation of Minor League Baseball. Tonight, the opener of a three-game series between the Iowa Cubs and the Omaha Storm Chasers. It's baseball. It's the show, and it comes your way now. Jace Vines gets the call for game one of the series. He's out. Now at the plate, here is Roger Tenoy. It lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. The left fielder. Pitch on the way. Tenoy. Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. And this ball's heading for the seats down the right side as the count will move to 0 and 2 now. Well, you don't need us to tell you. It's really starting to come down out there. I can't imagine the umpires will let this go too much longer if it doesn't ease up. Well, you could say that again, Matt. It's raining cats and dogs out there. Make sure you don't step in a poodle. I think it's time to get the grounds crew out. And now in the box, Brennan Davis. And he's hoping to get things going at the plate. It's been a bit of a struggle for him in recent games. Yeah, you should take a look at our visiting club as they enter play here this evening. They come in playing well. Six and three over the last nine ball games, including a victory last time out. Yeah, Maddie, this is a classic case of hitting is contagious. They scored a bunch of runs last game, and this team is flying high right now. There's a fight at the bat rack. Hey, plays it first. Plays it first. Good job to spoil that one away, and he stays alive. The 0-2 once more. Run, run, Hit run. back up the middle. And there are two away now. With a moment now, let's have a look at the home team starting lineup. Debra, what do you got in this lineup in the series opener? Maddie, this lineup is built on one thing, and that's moving the ball over the fence. This is a station-to-station -station team. Not a lot of speed in this lineup, but they don't need much speed when they're moving traffic to both gaps. So now to the plate, Gilberto Prado. As he'll go after the first pitch and bounce it into foul territory. The numbers offensively, pretty dismal to this point, down in the 170s to start play. Three homers, 10 RBIs. One and one the count now. Can't keep the weight back, and he falls behind one and two. Into the windup and the pitch. And he fouls this one off. Another one two delivery. Got him swinging on the splitter that time, and with that, the side is retired. We played an inning, still nothing, nothing. Now at the plate, Nick Prado hitting a little over 250 coming into action in this one. The first baseman. Here's the first pitch to him. Prado. Here's a strike with the breaking ball. Oh, one's the count. Lifted in the air to straightaway center. Center fielder giving chase. He's there and records the first down. So now to the plate, Trevor Larnick. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Curveball hit on the ground to shortstop. Reined in. And quickly, there are two away. Stepping up is Alfonso Rivas. And you see the numbers there. He's been very dangerous at the plate, to say the least. Strike one to start the at bat. That Off misses plate, wide. One. one ball and one strike. Two away, two away. Hey, that backdoor breaking ball just missed. He had a chance to run it to 0-2. Oh. Just a bit high two with balls, the fastball, but didn't get the call. Now the 2-1 pitch. One, this one, is one. on the ground over to first. Scooped up, and oh. he'll step on the bag himself, and the inning is over. Nothing doing here this half. Now into the box, Jimmy Govern. And, and you see that average below the dreaded Mendoza line. Pitch on the way. Below the zone, a swing and a miss. 
The offense better get it going right here because they certainly can tell from their dugout this guy is carrying himself with a presence out on the mound. He's got feel you, you, for you, all you, you, his pitches. Volpe stay with it as he backs up and puts it away. One gone. Digging in next, Brady McConnell. And he's a guy looking to break out in a big way. Hasn't been getting the results he or his club have been hoping for. Strike swinging, timing a little off on that one. Fouled off. Bottom of inning number three, nothing, nothing our score. Ball. Shooting for that low inside corner, but he missed with it. One and two. And he'll lay off the curveball that's in the dirt that time, and it's back to even now at two and two. Regardless of the result right here, to be down 0-2 and work it back to an even count, got to feel like it's a win for the offense. The 2-2 one more time. He swung on and missed strike three. He's looked great on the bump the first few innings of this game, and I think his ability to change speeds effectively has been a big that reason why. That was a good change of speed for the strikeout there, and I've seen a lot of hitters look pretty off with their timing so far. Hey, make no mistake about it. This lineup's going to have to get on and get a little bit more aggressive. This guy's pounding his own. Throw in the dirt, but a good scoop at first saves an error as this side is retired. Make it nine straight here to start the ball game. On now to the top of inning number four. And now, Roger Canoy, 0 for 1 for him here in this one. Still a big bagel in that hit column. And this is where the frustration can start setting in on a team if they're not careful. It's never a good feeling when you know the guy out there on the mound is completely shutting you down. Hit on the ground out to short. He's got it. And an off-balance throw is in time as he takes one away. Wow. So here is Brennan Davis comes into this yeah, at bat 0 for 1 in the ballgame. And that's swung on and missed for strike one. one. If this offense is going to be this aggressive, I'm going to expect this pitcher and catcher combo Ball to expand the zone. Hey, we got one out here. That's a ball. And a knuckle curve missed that time. Two and, two and one. And one. one out, nobody on. Swing and a miss, strike two. Two and two. That was a great hack right there. Timing was on point. Just sometimes you have bad bat run, barrel run, run. and accuracy. Base hit, and they're into the hit column. And he'll reach first as they can't make the play on him. In now, Gilberto Prado. Hey, listen, no, Nero, they're not going to complain at all. A base hit is a base hit, even though that's an infield single. And hopefully, that's a good sign that things are about to turn for them in this one. Yeah, there hasn't been a fight at the bat rack, per se, Dan, in this one. I don't care what not. I don't care if it's a swing and run or a home run into the streets. This could get the offense going. And it's two balls and two strikes now. Two strikes. Fastball swung on and missed as they set him down for the second time here tonight. That's his second strikeout of the game. I wouldn't be surprised if a coach finds him in the dugout and gives him a little talk about shortening up and putting the ball in play. Good things tend to happen when you do that in these kinds of conditions. Hey, usually the second time through the order, you start seeing an incorporation of some more off-speed stuff. But this guy's locating, feeling really good about it. But we'll have to press pause as that strike three to retire the side. So no runs here on a base hit, no errors, and one man left aboard. We played four full. The I Cubs are out in front, one to nothing. Stepping in once again is Trevor Larkin as we move past the halfway point in this one and begin the bottom of the fifth. Now the first pitch. Back up the middle. And this is going to scoot on through into center for a base hit leading off the inning. 
So only the second hit he's given up tonight. Yeah, man, he's locked in and pretty dominant since the first. So as long as he can get back in that groove with the next batter, he's not going to worry too much about it. He's 0 for 1 thus far. Boy, that's just about the catcher's glove there. It's 0 and 2. Up, up. Popped up. Drew in foul I got it, ground. I got it, I got it. And that's the first out of the inning. Up next, Jimmy Govern. He flew yeah, out in his last Second debut. Pitch. Starts Jimmy. things here with a changeup for a called strike. Swing and a miss here, and he's behind in the count okay. now, 0-2. Not too many guys taking the mound today with this good a split. Look at the downward action on that thing. It's falling off the table. Hoping to send him packing. Pitch on its way. Oh, that's out. He's going to find out quickly. Guys are even more selective up here in AAA. Did a good job to shorten up and protect the plate, and he'll have another shot at it here. Oh, and a great knuckle curve just buckled him there, and there are two gone. That's a pretty impressive pitch from a young arm like that. If you can spot your pitches there and advantage counts like one and two, you're going to have a lot of strikeouts and soft contact. Brady McConnell is in with two away now as he looks at a cold strike one. The discipline has just been completely absent from this offense. Seems like they're always finding themselves behind the count, and, and a big reason why is they're swinging at all kinds of stuff that's not even in the strike zone. Again, he sends it out of play. Both teams with just two hits apiece thus far. And he struck him out, his seventh of the ball game, and that ends the inning. Both teams battling the elements thus far, but we've got a tight game through five. Back with more here on a Tuesday night after this. Here's the catcher, Salvador Perez. He'll start things out in the sixth for a lineup that really hasn't found its groove in this one. Yeah, let's see if he can work a walk, maybe a knock, ground ball with eyes, something. Catch a gap to get this offense going. Two hits as a team can start demoralizing your confidence. But if he can get on and start some traffic in motion, he might have something. A ball and no strikes. This is on the ground over the first. Fielded cleanly, and he'll step on first for the out. Three unassisted. So the next to bat will be Roger Benoit, grounded out in his last at bat. Lifted the other way down the left field line. Left fielder is on the move. He tracks it down and makes the play to record the second out. Now batting, center fielder. Brennan oh, Davis stands in for the third time now as he takes a look at a ball. It's 1 0. Swing and a little tapper. That winds up foul. Two out, nobody on. And he's way off balance with the swing there. Two strike. And here we go. Fouled away. Two outs. Let's get out of here. Now just try to freeze him with the fastball there. Pretty close. It's two and two. And you know what? Give this guy some credit up there because this had the look of being a very quick inning. He's been able to stretch this at bat out a little bit, and that's something that shouldn't go unnoticed. And they keep the inning alive with a base hit, but you can see that's only the third hit. He's given up the entire game, so he's still in total control out there. Standing in now, Gilberto Prado. One and oh, the count. And it's fouled away. No contact ball, there, and it's strikes. one and two. That was a good swing right there. It might be the best one he's had all night because he was right on it. And he fouls this one off. And he struck him out, his eighth punch out of the ball game, and that one ends the inning. One hit, one left. Seventh inning coming up. Iowa leads it one to nothing. Bottom of the inning now, and here comes the first baseman, Nick Prado. The first baseman. And now pitch on the way. That's the ball. 
you know, because this is just a one-run game, this doesn't strike me as a situation where he's going to be working around a guy. I think he's going to challenge him right here. Now a one swing ball, and a miss, and I don't think he was expecting a pitch inside. It's one and one. Swung on and missed. One, one and two now. I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's his wind-up. I don't know if it's just flat stuff. Nope. But he's getting a lot of swings outside the All zone, right, and he's having a big game. 2-2. Uh, Swung on and missed. He got him on strikes. Nice job there taking care of the leadoff hitter via the strikeout. I'll tell you, in a one-run game, especially this late, getting that first guy in the inning is so important. It changes the whole complexion of the inning, so that was a big out. Now that right fielder. The next batter will be Trevor Larnick. As the first pitch to him is swung on and missed for strike one. A hit in two tries for him so far. Down the third baseline. A dive, but it's off his glove. And he won't risk the long throw across. He'll hang on to it. It's an infield single. Nice adjustment by the batter right there. You cannot fault the pitcher for going to that well again. First one, he swings and misses through. And this one, the batter's able to execute and drive it for a base hit. Looked like he went around that time. They'll appeal down to third. And yes, sir, it's strike one. He's set. Here's the 0-1. There's a line drive. And that's going to get down. And now, how far will they send that man from first? The tying run comes all the way around from first to score. You know, Dero, in today's game, it's not easy scoring in the late inning, so that RBI base set to tie things up. Three to two to finish in tonight's game. Evan Steele has the win out of the pen this first. So that just about does it for Mark DeRosa, Dan Blizak, and our entire crew. I'm Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, Earth make your way over to the new website, theshow.com. Three runs on seven hits. No errors. They left nine runners on base. For Iowa, two runs, seven hits, one error, and 11 runners left on base. Minor League Baseball is live and on the air on the show. Today, it's the second of this three-game series between the Iowa Cubs and the Omaha Storm Chasers. We've got baseball on the show. It's coming up next. Oh my gosh, Christopher Bernier is on the mound for game two. What do you have for us on him, Danny? Hey, we look a lot at numbers from starting pitchers, walks to innings pitch, but one of the key stats I look for is whip. And he has a sub 1.30 whip coming into this start, which tells me he throws strikes. He's not afraid to get the ball in the strike zone. It'll be interesting to see if he can string together some real quality innings of this one. Eddie. First pitch of the A.B. now. Late square, and this is popped up. And they will not get him at first as he's able to leg out the throw. So next to bat will be Isan Diaz. Comes off an 0 for 4 in last night's ball game. Slowly hit to first. I don't think they can get right, hold two. On, hold There's on. one. Relay to first in time. And just like that, the side is retired. So it's no runs on a hit, no errors, and a man left. So it's on to the bottom of any. Striding forward now is the DH, Eddie James, as he'll dig into the left-handed batter's box. And now pitch on the way. Oh, what a pitch one. to start the at bat there. It's nothing in one. Hey, that's the modern game right now. North south. Elevate that high fastball and bury stuff in the dirt. Completely different from the east west we oh, came up down. playing. That misses wide. Hey, one ball and one right strike. Now. Down the left field line and deep. 
And that is off the wall, but in foul territory. Foul ball. Hey, last two pitches back to back off speed, then he's laid on the fastball. He could pretty much do anything he wants right here on the mound. Now a swing and a miss here as he's down on strikes. So it's two. Next will be the designated hitter, Eddie James, struck out in his last trip to the plate. First pitch on its way. Try to bunt for a base hit here as he gets this one down. And the throw is not going to be in time as he's able to reach base safely. Next up, Isan Diaz singled last time up. Yeah, and they take another single right here. That third base coach is dying to wave his arms. I wouldn't be surprised if anything hit hard through the infield. He's going to wave them. Garcia at second. James is over at first with one away. Swing and a miss as he ran that two-seamer right by him for the second out. Well, it's been a rough series for him at the plate so far. That's four strikeouts in the first two games, so this pitching staff clearly has him figured out. Here's the one-two, and there he goes towards second. This is line to left, and that's in there. Base hit, the throw home. The tag from Perez won't get him safe at the plate. Next to stand in is Philip Irvin. Now and they're runners at the Wait, corners now. And he got him. Minimizing the damage at just a run. The inning. Digging in here for a pivotal at bat. Eddie James. And he represents the potential go ahead run. First offering on its way. Hit sharply on the ground to the left. And that'll just sneak past his outstretched arm. Yeah, yeah, hit. great job right there. He squared up on that sucker. Well, talk about having a pretty special game. That's his third single of the game, D-Row. Three for four. Not a bad game. Yeah, just not trying to do too much, Dan. Taking what the pitcher's giving him right here. If the fastball's away, shooting it the other way. If he's got something hanging in the middle of the plate, turning and burning. You're here, you're here. Nice execution. On the first, and talk about doing... Yeah, and they just keep on keeping on. Got a nice little run going here, winning four in a row and playing with a lot of confidence. Success is never guaranteed in this game, so you have to appreciate it when it comes. A one-run finish today, 5-4 to four, the final score. The Omaha Storm Chasers wrote an important sixth inning to victory in this one. Philip Deal claims the win out of the pen, his first. Durbin Feldman records the save, his fifth of the year. stars are on display as minor league baseball comes your way on the show. Tonight we wrap up this three game series between the Iowa Cubs and the Omaha Storm Chasers. It's and baseball on the show, show and it's Omaha coming up next. Next to hit is Eddie James as he'll dig into the left-handed batter's box. I'm so impressed with him and his ability to hit from both sides of the dish. I mean, we've all seen guys that do it, but really, they usually struggle from one side of the plate or the other. Not him, though. He's a true switch hitter who has a lot of success from either side of the box. Fellas, you take a look at our homestanding ball club as they come into this one tonight. They've been hot of late, winners in four straight. Yeah, Matty B. Hey, d we're we'll looking at a team that's playing some pretty good baseball right now through the first five games of this homestand four and one and looking for some bigger and better things yeah we had a chance to sit down before the game after BP with the manager he was really pleased with the way his team has played in these last five let's see if it continues today into the box Daryl Clawson and he's looking to snap out of what's been a rather dry spell at the plate dick, dick, takes dick, it to dick. the opposite field high and deep to left Jimenez retreats to the track, and he'll put this one away. Stepping in next, Brady McConnell, and he's a guy looking to break out in a big way. Hasn't been getting the results he or his club have been hoping for. Scooped up. Over to first, and that retires the side. 
So they go down without a whimper here. We'll go now to the top of the third. And we are tied nothing nothing. Ready now is Eddie James. And their runners at the corners now. Eddie James. First pitch of the A-B on its way. Well outside with the curveball for a ball. Hey, this pitcher's going to have to step off the mound right here and refocus. Take a deep breath, something. Can't keep falling behind and creating traffic. Puts everybody on edge, not only himself, his defense, and especially his manager. Had him hacking at the 2 0 change, and it's back to 2 and 1. Hey, make no mistake about it. This lineup is going to have to get going and get a little bit more aggressive. This guy's pounding the zone. Tried to crush that ball, and now perhaps needs to shorten up with two strikes. Hey, one time, right now, here we go. Swing, line, drive. That's going to be trouble. Go two, go two, go two. The relay. Ow! And now he'll at least get an out at third here as he's tagged out, but two runs are already in the score. And now here is Eddie James. He doubled home a pair his last Eddie. time up. Yeah, and he certainly got the wheels trying to stretch a double into a triple. But it's sort of a killer to the club when you can't leg it out. Oh, so not in time, and he beats it out for his third hit tonight. To the plate now is the designated hitter, Daryl Clawson. He comes in 0 for 2 thus far. And now they've got him in a rundown. Poor base running there. Got him caught in a hot box between first and second. And he is out on the Next, it will be Eddie James. We'll see if he can come through in a clutch spot here. Two on, two out here in inning number six. First pitch coming. Here it is. Fouled off. Come on, man. Get your pitch up there. Oh, one. Here's the pitch. Liner toward right center. In there. Base the ball, hit. And that ball, ought to get the run in from third. Well, that run won't be charged against him, but he's still disappointed. His job is to shut the door down when they call on him, and he just couldn't get it done there. Now back. Next to dig in, Daryl Clawson. He bounced out last time up. Runners on the move for second. Bouncer to the left side. Reined in. Throw goes over to third. The tag, and he is out at third. And with that, the side is retired. Nine men come to the plate, however, five of them score. Two, three, and four do up in the home half of the sixth. The I Cubs are out in front, seven to two. Digging in will be Brennan Davis. He was retired via the ground ball last time up. If you look at their win percentage or something like that right now, got to be honest, the odds are obviously stacked against them. But I'm looking for them to show me something right here. Maybe they get back in this game. Maybe they don't. But I want to see what kind of a... So next to hit is Kelvin Gutierrez. He went down on strikes in his last at-bat. Here comes the one-two. Hit out towards second. He's got it. And the two-out threat won't pay off. The inning is over. So it's no runs on a hit, no errors, and two men left on. We're through six full. Now to bat, Brady McConnell struck yeah, out in his last what trip to the plate. Yeah, and kind of shocked. That's he got blown away with a fastball. Right you can tell he was late on that Man. one. And we'll see if he tries to cheat what? to something this A.B. Scooped up. And that's out number one. Next up is Adam Archmutt. Catcher, Adam Archmutt. A one and one count. Here's the pitch. Grounded to third. Oh, it takes a nasty hop, and he's unable to haul it in. The hole, the hole. I think the whole ballpark knew he was going to go with the sinker right there to induce the. So now a guy making a lot of noise in this one, Eddie James. He's got his sights set on a five-hit ball game here. Come on now, one time. 
Here's the 0-1 pitch. Tries to bunt his way on here, but this is a foul ball. One well ball. below the Two knees, strikes. laid off on the changeup there. Let's go, Ned. Well, that's a pitch right there. You gotta just lay off. There's a good chance he's gonna throw it on 0 and 2. And if you can recognize it starting down in the zone, you know it's only going to go down from there. Down the left field line and deep, but this is just gonna wind up being a foul ball. See it? Drive. Let's go. Right here. Pulled toward right center field. Long run for the right fielder. He gets to it and makes the catch for the first out. You might think it's just another win, but it's awfully hard to win in this game, especially on the road. But they find a way to get it done, and they should be very happy with this performance. And this evening's ends at a 7-2 finish. Iowa wrote an important sixth inning to victory in this one. Steven Gonzalez wins his third of the season. So that'll just about do it for Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, and our entire crew. I'm our Matt Vaskersian. This has been a presentation of ML.